Hi, good day. Let us learn about the applications of electromagnetic waves. Ultraviolet is an electromagnetic radiation with a wavelength shorter than that of visible light, but longer than X-rays. It is named as such because the spectrum consists of electromagnetic waves with frequencies higher than those that human identify as the color violet. Ultraviolet radiation is produced by high temperature surfaces such as the sun. Most of the ultraviolet radiation in sunlight is absorbed by oxygen in Earth's atmosphere, which forms the ozone layer of the lower stratosphere. Most ultraviolet is classified as non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation refers to any type of electromagnetic radiation that does not carry enough energy per quantum to ionize atoms or molecules, that is, to completely remove the electron from an atom or molecule. UV rays are used to prevent counterfeits. Sensitive documents such as credit cards and passports include a UV watermark that is only seen under UV emitting light. Visa stamps also contain large detailed seals which are invisible under the normal light but strongly visible under UV illumination. UV is also helpful in crime scenes. Investigators can detect and locate semen, saliva, and other bodily fluid using high UV rays. On the other hand, too much exposure to this EM radiation may lead to skin cancer. Melanoma and eye problems such as photokeratitis or sunburn of the cornea, which usually resides within one to two days. Next to the ultraviolet spectrum is X-ray. X-rays are high energy waves which have great penetrating power and are used extensively in medical applications and in expecting welds. In many languages, X-radiation is called Röntgen radiation after Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, who is generally credited as its discoverer, and who had named it such to signify an unknown type of radiation. Within a short time of its discovery, X-ray is being used in medical facilities to image broken bones with a technique called computer-assisted tomography. A section of human body can be imaged using X-rays and computer technology. Another familiar X-ray machine is the baggage scanner found at airport terminals. This low-power X-ray device is placed over a conveyor belt where it scans passengers' luggage. Overexposure to X-rays may lead to cancers such as leukemia, but the harmful side effects of X-ray scanning have also introduced radiotherapy, a medical procedure that is often used with chemotherapy that uses very high-frequency X-rays to destroy cancer cells. Gamma rays are generated by radioactive atoms and in nuclear explosions and are used in many medical applications. They are more penetrating than X-rays. Images of our universe taken in gamma rays have yielded important information on the life and death of stars and other violent processes in the universe. In spite of their cancer-causing properties, gamma rays are also used to treat some types of cancer. In the procedure called gamma knife surgery, multiple concentrated beams of gamma rays are directed on the growth in order to kill the cancerous cells. The beams are aimed from different angles to focus the radiation on the growth while minimizing damage to the surrounding tissues. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you hit the subscriber button. Thank you for watching.